Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Hype Train! We're looking at a few trailers here today, and I have Real World Combi with me to actually enjoy them. What's up, guys? Yes, and we also have our fact checker off camera. Fuck Fergal. Our fact oh. Fergal. <laughs> fact finder Fergal. Fact finder Fergal. Uh, so we're actually going to be taking a look at Alien Covenant today. Now, Alien series of movies, uh, Aliens 2 is the only one I really like. I may be a, I don't think that's a controversial opinion. It is the best one out of the whole lot of the Alien series, really, isn't it? I mean, Alien, the original Alien is great, but Aliens 2 I really enjoy because they put more action and there's a lot more cool shit going on. More Aliens, better prosthetics, uh, more interesting location and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I remember watching it when I was growing up. I don't think, I think I'd seen it out of sequence. I think I'd seen the second film. Hmm. And then I'd seen the first one sometime after. And to be fair, I mean, at the time I was young and all that sort of thing, so didn't really need the you didn't need to actually see the first one to get the second film, you know? Aye, because yeah. everyone still refers to oh, you seen Alien and think oh that that was the first one was pretty we you know that was our fourth suit and all that. that That's the second one, yeah. yeah. And they a lot of people think that that is the first one. You go no, no that. Second one, this is the first one. You oh right, shit, right. Fair People enough. forget about the Nostromo in the original one because the original one actually like was properly scary. While then the second one was actually an action movie with a scary subtext. It was a it was a horror action in its own way, and that's a that's a, that's the best part of the any movies is whenever they get that balance right, where you're uncomfortable with the moments coming up to the action, and then you enjoy the action. Meanwhile, uh, later movies like uh, was it Resurrection just went way off in the far scale of the action, these kind of stuff. Yeah. And any of the AVP movies have all garbage, really. You know, I've never been a fan of the, the AVP series. I love the books that they're based on, but the movies were bad. Yeah, they were just cashing in on a, you know, well, on, on the fact that the two franchises uh, were bone together and they'd only just recently was under the same production or same Dark Horse owned or Dark, like or, that. Dark Horse had the rights to the two of them together, and that's how we ended up crossing over the comics and the books. But I don't know if Dark Horse Publishing were involved in the movies, but they're, someone similar probably doing the same thing. Yeah. Um, I think. I mean, they were alluded to, you know, Aliens was alluded to in uh, Predator 2 with Danny Glover, where they had, like, the skull hanging in the background. Yeah, they had a queen head. Nice to be sort of, you know, poke at another franchise. Well, not a poke, but, like, a friendly sort of respectful thing. Yeah, essentially saying, like, these guys are hunters, they hunt these kind of things. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, which was probably at that point, I think the books had already started to come out for AVP, which made a lot more sense, because they, said you Predators use Aliens as, like, their training dogs. They just, mm. like, they beat the shit out of those to train themselves up, in a way. But um, yeah, let's take a look at Alien Covenant because uh, I have not, I haven't seen the uh, the, the rebooted movie. The um, what was the first one called? The Prometheus. Prometheus. Thank I haven't. You, Fergal. I have not seen Prometheus yet. He has really. Yeah, I'm still. It's just one of those movies that passed me yeah. by back whenever it came out, and I just never found the time gap to then watch it because I heard that it wasn't an Aliens movie, and I was like, ah. <laughs> I was about to thank him for a little fact there, but then you said you hadn't seen the film, so I sorry, I meant thank. Well. Yeah, don't think you would nah, do. You're taking away the thanks, no? Huh. <laughs> that's just cheeky. So, right. to the trailer. In any Covenant trailer, let's take a look. Yeah, appropriate audiences. I want a red band. You've all sacrificed so much to be here and be a part of this thing we're doing. This crew is made up of couples. It's the first ever large scale colonization mission. Ooh, and everyone okay. back on Earth is really grateful for your hard work. That's gonna make it more horrible whenever you have to cut them out of the wall. Your courage. <laughs> We're making history here. Wally! This is wheat. What are the odds of finding human vegetation this far it. from Earth? Who planted it? Planted all this. So they. Oh. Uh... You hear that? What? Nothing. No birds. No animals. <laughs> Nothing. So a terraformed planet with no living, no life on it, except for plant life. Yeah, I think that ship was the previous. Sorry. What happened here? They're above the the, the space jockeys, aren't they? Like they call them. Hey, good. <laughs> oh, <my God>. Boy. <laughs> Look, why, would shoot it? why would you never shoot that? <laughs> I know it's like literally just like take a match and like burn everything. I didn't want to live there anyway. 
What's happening? I look at that woman and the actress, uh, and I kind of think that she's like going to give you the most funny readers characters. Uh, but please, but please, like, you know, like, just, just go pick that hair from the original. Yeah, yeah, the. To start our new life. No, no, no. I mean, is it is this like in? Where is it? Weird if they actually have a power cheese or she actually looks like she is actually the mother of Ripley. Hold on! Oh, 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 actually looks properly fucking terrifying monster <laughs> again. Yeah, no, I'm on board with that. Yeah, it looks scarier than it. Yeah, no, that fuck yeah, no, that looks scarier <laughs> than it. It was fucking not like the anti-terrifying to this. I want to actually take a ignore look at the alien head face on it. Uh, for the very last. You trying to figure it out CGI? It's a, a, a little bit of each. That's what I'm hoping for. It, 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 didn't, it didn't move on CGI. It's moving like CGI. Oh. But like the prosthetics and hand. Well, that's definitely CGI. Yeah, prosthetics and hand by CGI. That's CGI. To fucked. <laughs> that's good. Though. That's good. Oh, it's good. But it's just, I love. I love the look of it. Because that's the thing with the alien. Whenever they did the first movie, um, they just got a gargantuan human being to fucking do it, so that whenever he moved in an odd way, then he looked odd. Ian White. Ian White was the name of the actor. Ian White was the. Uh, I don't know if he was uh, one of the original uh, aliens, but he was definitely the the guy who came around one, with the, the one of the, the predators. Movies. He's one of the. I think he's one of the predators uh, from Alien vs Predator. But he was also the actor of the Prometheus. This guy's fucking huge. Me yeah. and Virgo met him at a sh not Showmasters. Um, it was yeah, Emerson, okay. no, no, it was uh, Heroes of Legends, right? In the W five years ago, this guy is tall. This guy's so tall, he makes Virgo look like me in height <laughs> comparison. He's taller <laughs> than you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm dude. I'm 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 six two, but I can understand there's people a lot fucking taller than me, and they terrify the shit out of me. Um, yeah, they, they, if it's all in the movement for aliens. Nice guy though, really nice guy. Well, giant, friendly giant. Um, the Aliens in the movies, it's always been their movement that's actually kind of like been the creepier thing. They, they, they scuttle, or even whenever they don't scuttle, it's like the long head movements where they're just like they're scanning a room and stuff. It's the reason why that game Alien Isolation was fucking terrifying because you spend more time looking at the bastard, hoping he does not see you uh, than anything what else. What was that? Alien Isolation? Yep. On everything? They've done PC, Xbox, PS3, PS4, on everything. Oh, that was the, the most recent one. Sorry, my mind yeah. went back to the... A Colonial Marines one, the, which was garbage. No, no, no. Back, 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 back. Placed on the PlayStation 3 original one. There was, a the really, one. there was a really good Aliens game back in the original PS1 that was like... Do you know what the weird thing about that game was? It was the first game to ever use left stick to move, right stick to look. It was the first shoot 'em up <laughs> that ever did that. And nobody remembers. Big shit. Like because so, 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 previous to that everybody actually like they used like one to one to move and not the other one to look because they actually like allowed you to strafe and stuff and that it was the, it, it it developed how we play every first person shooter ever since and it was actually panned for it it was actually complained people complained about the control system because nobody had done it before at the time and then everybody went no oh, this is actually the most effective way to use a control pad oh fuck me that's uh I expect that I remember I just remember the game being brilliant for the fact you're walking around and you yeah the truck <laughs> ah! Fucking terrifying. Pretty much jump scares came from aliens and alien. And you know, all yeah, of that. That, that build up of terror actually using the motion trackers, that's actually that's the way jump scares should work. And we we apparently have completely abandoned that idea <laughs> of build up and payoff. Now just shit just jumps out at you jump for scare. no apparent reason. Oh. Because of a randomly generated fucking algorithm. <laughs> but fuck it, who cares? <laughs> aliens vs. Co alien Covenant. The hype train is stopping at this fucking station. That looks great. We'll stop at the station. We will make sure we shoot everything and set We it. arrive in the station and we set it on fire. You know what? This <laughs> film, this film, uh, when's the release date this? Uh, can we get a fact check on that? Well, fact check there, Virgo, because I, much. they should have released it at Easter time. Imagine the tie-ins for Easter eggs. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you. I wouldn't need any, I would think, like, literally Easter eggs that open up for you would be just fucking terrifying. <laughs> That would be freaky mm, as fuck. Jelly filled like eggs. A, a gooey, a gooey in, inner egg, like a cream egg, but inside that there's like a wee, wee tiny plastic toy of a face hugger. Maybe not a plastic, like <laughs> jelly. You could eat it. A face hugger <laughs> jelly. You know, fucking... I don't know. <laughs> just, I can see people just like biting in the egg and going. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Yeah.
2017? That soon? Fuck it's yes! Like it's like two. So they finished, they've actually just went away. Oh, we're going to do an August. Nah, it's ready. No, why not? Why we're not giving it. Give it to us, guys. That's but that, that's pretty cool because it's very rare you see movies move up on a release date, and it's usually because of the release windows. Because what's coming? There must be someone coming out in August that they do not want to come out the same fucking week as. Are they in the galaxy? Could be. Could very well be. Uh, is there anything? If you if the only reason to move a date I mean, like that towards you is to get the fuck away from something that's going to be the thing, like, competitive. The only thing I the only thing I think of predators is. Uh, no, no, I mean, the only thing I was going to say is the only film I know out, not August, is like uh, Home Puppet out in 7th of July. Aye. And then this is this would have been originally out like uh, a week month after, later. Yeah, yeah I mean, but I mean, that's well, what that wouldn't affect it. Yeah, it, can't, uh, it doesn't really, because it, would it, would, it wouldn't affect its opening weekend, but it's just one of, if there's a movie that's maybe running long, it might be staying in cinemas for four weeks, it might oh, reduce your. Oh. One fact finder, Fergal. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, Alien. Emoji movie. I the thing is, I can, there's a crossover audience between the ages of nine Patrick, and nine Patrick that Stewart, might want to see one of those. Patrick Stewart's voice and um the character in that. That's your literal only sci-fi connection I can think of. I I I I, I shudder to the thought of actually what he's saying. I hope he oh. swears. I always wanted to see Patrick Stewart in an alien film just to see that you know even if he was I'd like to see him as a bishop. Even if he's just wearing like a red T-shirt and there's like. <laughs> he like literally just plays. him and John Hurt sound next he, to each other going oh god he just plays a fucking you know red shirt <laughs> look at that tracky got like bleh. any other ones that are coming out that Chess week poster? that actually might be uh... yep mm -hmm. like... all I see is you nah. sounds like a romantic drama fuck oh, when again never... so probably a war I think that actually is a war movie probably about Vietnam Eight Mile 2? Uh, <laughs> Until Detroit Riot movie. Mm -hmm. Annabelle 2. Okay. Scary movie. Yeah. yeah. None of this, none of this sounds like actually anything. That just, sounds like no reason for them to actually move it. Ooh. Well, we'll probably watch Naked because it's actually going to have naked people in it. But that doesn't sound like anything that would be competing with Alien Covenant. But Unless... I, here, I, I'm not looking to get. I'm never going to look a gift horse in the mouth. That's fucking good news. No matter what, good, happy. I was, was going to say news. this is maybe something that they could. Yeah, it could be. But uh, either way, don't care. Yeah. Alien Covenant coming out in May. We're going to be there. We're going to see it. Hype frame's going to fall over. She's fucking egg. Make sure nothing happens. This no, thing... we're putting down an auto turret, and we're waiting for them all to be dead, and then we're getting off at the station and watch. Just kick Bishop off. <laughs> Does that him deal with? Let him get deal with the problem. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you actually thought um, our opinions or reactions to this movie were actually pretty good and you want to actually hear more about it and see other things like this, you can hit the subscribe button right over the top of my head. Or you can actually hit the wee box over the top of Will's head, which is actually a uh, playlist for all the ones that have been done previously. And over the far side over there is uh, recommended stuff that's actually been here on the channel very recently. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And oh, thank you to Fact Finding Fergal. Yes. Fucker. Fact Finding Fergal, Real Will Comedy, and myself, Passy Your Skin. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see all you dudes in the next movie. Goodbye. Bye.